Shalom from Jeffersonville, Indiana, in the Branham Tabernacle. Here is the Eagles Gathering Together letter from Brother Joseph Branham. Dear flesh of his flesh, word of his word, life of his life, spirit of his spirit, my precious brothers and sisters, just read that one statement again and again. Read what God himself just called you. How could anyone write in my human words what that means to us? It's impossible to express. If we could fully comprehend and apply it with all our hearts, minds, and souls, I truly believe the rapture would have to take place. What is there to fear? What is there to worry about? Satan battles us, torments us, throws sickness upon us, attacks our mind with every kind of evil thought, but there is nothing that can harm us. Can anything harm Jesus? No, then neither can anything harm us. He just said, We are his flesh, his word, his life, his spirit. What joy and satisfaction we have in our heart when we meditate on what he has been telling us. The revelations God has been revealing to us, tape load after tape load after tape load, the Holy Spirit is bubbling up inside of us like a artesian well. We have been predestinated to see and hear. We will not and cannot fall or be misled. We are on our way to meet our headship, our Redeemer, our Husband, our King, our Lord, our Lover, our Savior in the provided meeting place. Just listen to this again. The complete fullness of the Godhead, Father, dwells in us, His Church, the preeminences, all that God was, He poured into Christ, and all Christ was, was poured into the Church, us, His Bride. It is not something that is going to take place someday. He said, it is taking place in us right now. Can you imagine from the very beginning of time, God never gave his great mysterious secret that was in his mind to no one until today. Why did he do it? Because he was waiting to make it known to us in these last days as he promised he was waiting for us. He knew we were the only ones that could and would fully comprehend it. Glory! He chose us to be his bride because he knew that we would not fall. We would hold to that word regardless of what all the rest of the world had to say about it. We would hold to that word and that word only. We have been predestinated to stand there. We are the adopted children by Jesus Christ. There's even more. Listen real close. Pinch yourself. The headship, God, and the body, us, have become one unit. It's God manifested in us. God and his church are one, Christ in you. We are God's great revelation. We are even bearing his name. His name is Jesus, the anointed. We are the anointed, body of Christ. We are manifesting God like that body did. We are his bride. Impregnated with his spirit, the church bearing children 
impregnated by his spirit bearing his name, bearing his life. We have Satan's answer. The headship is here. Christ, the risen Lord, is here in the same power of his resurrection that he ever was manifesting himself in us, his spoken word bride. God is now uniting his bride together. He is uniting them from around the world by his word, the only thing that will bring his bride together. The Holy Spirit is leading and gathering his bride. In every age, the prophet was the Holy Spirit for their day. Think of this. When people say, we place too much on the seventh angel messenger, remember, God himself entrusted all his secrets he held in his mind before there even was a world to his seventh angel messenger. God himself had 100% confidence in this man that he placed his great end time plan in his hands. He gave him, listen, he gave him the revelation of all his secrets to that man. He gave that man the revelation of the things that were not even written. He said, whatever he said on earth was so important, it would be echoed in heaven. There is no doubt that God sent great Holy Spirit filled men in this world. But each of these men, even being filled with the Holy Spirit, can be wrong. God never vindicated what they say to be, thus saith the Lord, and told you to believe every word. There was only one man who had that authority from God, his seventh angel messenger. You can and should have a pastor. But if that pastor isn't telling you that the voice of God on the tapes is the most important voice to hear and placing it first before by listening to the tapes with you, not just him telling you this is what the prophet said, you've got the wrong pastor. Whomever is leading you, even if you claim it is the Holy Spirit, it better be uniting you to this message, that voice, as it is the only voice that could say, I am God's voice to you. If you're predestinated to see it, you'll see it. If you don't, you'll never see it. You're not predestinated to see it. We see the nations united. We see the world united. We see the churches uniting. We see the bride uniting, uniting with the word. Why? The word is God. And as the word, as the bridegroom being the word and the bride being the hearer of the word, they come together in a union. They unite like a wedding. See, they are getting ready for a wedding. And they, they become one. The word becomes you. You become the word. Jesus said, at that day you'll know it. All the Father is, I am. And all I am, you are. And all you are, I am. In that day you'll know that I'm in the Father, Father in me, I in you, and you in me. I invite you to come and unite with us around the voice of God this Sunday at 12 p.m. Jeffersonville time as we hear the uniting time and sign 63-0818 Brother Joseph Brandon Scriptures to read before service Psalms 
chapter 86, verses 1 through 11, and St. Matthew chapter 16, verses 1 through 3. This concludes this letter, and we ask that you please subscribe and visit www.svfellowship.info and branhamtabernacle.org. God bless you, and shalom.